there are some basic things about fonts, effects, and styles that we need to be aware of. The first one is how Microsoft Excel automatically aligns certain things. As you can see, I have numbers and text. I've created two and four. We're going to pull from a previous lesson and do the autofill. I've highlighted two and four. I go to my fill handles. I drag down. And there you can see. Notice that the numbers are automatically aligned to the right side. Over here, I've got January and February. I'm going to highlight them, go to the drag handles, pull them down, and text is automatically aligned to the left. If for some reason your numbers are aligned to the left as opposed to the right, that means one of two things. Usually, either you've changed your alignment, which we'll look at in the next video, or it's not recognizing it as a number. Next, I want to take a look at adjusting your fonts. Here we have a few different things. We have font name and font size. We have bold, italics, bold, italics. You can get the idea here. I want to change this from the default Calibre 11 to Arial 12. By the way, the default font and font size in Excel is Calibre size 11. If you don't like that, you can change it by going to the Backstage by going to File, going to Options, and looking here when creating new workbook. You can change the font size and you can change the font type. I want to change Arial, this box, to Arial 12. So let me make sure I've highlighted it, clicked on it. I'm going to go to the drop down for fonts and I'm going to look for Arial. There it is. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to change the font size to 12. And there we go. This one should be Courier New 10. Go up here. Look for Courier New. Also, notice I get a live preview. So as I'm scrolling down, you can see behind it the changing of the font types. I go to Courier New. Click on it. And I need it size font 10. Click here. And size font 10. Little word of warning when it comes to design. Just because you have all these options when it comes to font styles doesn't mean you have to use all of them in one spreadsheet or one document. Less is better. Which brings us to another one, which is changing the style. Again, less is better in a lot of cases. I want to make this bold. I go over here, again, Home, Font, and here's the Bold button. I can click on this and make it bold. Let me click on it again to unbold it. Or I can use this keyboard shortcut, which is Control B, and it makes it bold. I want to make this italics. Again, highlight it, make sure it's selected. Go up here and either click italics, let me unselect that, or hit Control I. This one is bold italics. Well, let me see, how could I do this? Well, I could click bold and italics, or we uncheck those. I can go to the dialog launcher, click that, and over here gives me more options. Over this side, I have bold and italics. I click OK, and it applies bold and italics. Now, yes, I could have done it through here, but I want to show you that there's always more options. When you see these little dialog box launchers, when you click on them, they always give you more options than are available by default up here in the ribbon. The ones that are available in the ribbon are the usual things people pick. But if you want more, for example, you need to do superscript or subscript, you need to click the dialog box launchers on the bottom right hand side of these things. Let me click cancel. I now want to change color. I want to change this to blue. I'm going to go over here to font colors. I'm going to click here and I'm going to pick blue-ish. It doesn't have to necessarily be blue. I'll just pick blue. In this case, I found blue. Go over here, I want to make this red. There's red, and I want to make this green. And there's green. If you need a special color that's not available, you can always click the More Colors option, and you can select your color, or if you're having to work with a style guide and you have the RGB code, you can put it here as well. A little word of caution, as long as we're here on red. If you use red in a spreadsheet, it typically means a very specific thing. Red means you're in a financial loss. 
So unless you have a specific reason to use red, don't use red just because you like the looks of it. Again, red in spreadsheet means usually a financial loss. If you like a certain look, let's say you like the bold italics, and you want to apply bold italics to Courier New, instead of me going over here and putting it all in again, I can use something called the Format Painter. Up here is the Format Painter. I'm going to select what I like, let's say bold italics. I'm going to go to Format Painter, click on it, and then I'm going to click Courier New. Watch what happens. Notice that this became bold italics, but it also captured the font type and size. So now this is Calibre 11. So it captures all of that style. If you want to, let's say, apply this to other things, let's say I want green. I want green to be applied to other things. If you double click the Format Painter, this will then stay active until you click the Escape button. And then that will turn it off.